Thank you very okay. much. Um, good day to everyone. Um, I am Ms. Alucel M. Delgado, um, Chair of the Bachelor of Science uh, in Business Administration Program, together with my uh, co-author, Mr. Um, Russell G. Moreno, uh, one of the faculty members of uh, the high school department from Manuela Sinverga University Foundation, Candelaria, Philippines. We are about to present our output about the uh, business, business, economic and business impact assessment of coronavirus to small and micro enterprises, a basis for a strategic and business sustainability plan. Coronavirus disease um, 2019, now called Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2, was first identified amid an outbreak of respiratory illness cases in Wuhan City, Yubei Province, China and was initially reported to the WHO or the World Health Organization on December 31, 2019. It was declared a global health emergency on January 30, 2020 by the World Health Organization and became a global pandemic on March 11, 2020. But the pandemic is more than a health crisis. It's also created an economic turbulence that distresses every one of the countries it touches. Philippines has no exemption to the latter scenario. The number of cases grew bigger and bigger, and the SME sector were affected. The situation urged the government to initiate policies to stop the spread of the disease reported by Rivas 2020. Lockdown was implemented, and according to Asian Development Bank, financial sector specialist Shigehiro Shinosaki posited that about 70.6% of the small-medium scale enterprises had forced temporary closure of the business due to outbreak. Because of the closure, the Philippine Statistic Authority had projected that there were about 7.3 million of job losses, and it was reported by Teo 2020. In the report of Devera 2020, the total economic losses that the Philippines experienced was about 2.2 trillion pesos, and millions of jobless workers were expected to occur during the pandemic crisis. Our research objectives is basically to evaluate and assess the extent of economic and business impact among small-scale enterprises. The methodology that we use, the research design was descriptive research, which aims to describe the current status of the variable under study. The purpose was to delineate and to give a clear understanding on the economic and business impact of COVID-19. Moreover, the result of the study will have implication to the current situation that small and micro enterprises is experiencing nowadays. Purposive sampling was used to identify the potential respondents of this research. There are 1,412 businesses in Candelaria, according to the Municipal Business Permit and Licensing Office, and there were 133 enterprises responded. Items in our questionnaire were a compilation of items on questions in our literature. In terms of validity, the content of our questionnaire was aligned to our statement of the problem and is reliable since it was used in different journals and articles. We created the questionnaire using the Google Forms and conducted an online survey and sent via messenger and, or email and reported all the responses. Now we move on to the result. The following tables and graphs were the results of the study. Majority of our respondents were female, Majority of our respondents' age range is 21 to 25 years old. Majority of our respondents' work experience is from 1 to 6 years. And the most of our respondents are college graduates. In terms of the nature of business, a majority of the respondents were inclined to retail. And it was supported by the Senate of the Philippines and uh, have acknowledged the vital importance of the small and medium scale enterprises in the growth of the economy because it helps in the job creation and uh, reduces poverty among the society. In the article of UPISSI Diliman 2020, data also showed that Philippines has 99.62% SMEs establishments and provided 62.9% workforce in 2017. On the other hand, majority of the establishments